James Webb Space Telescope just brought us this image of a stunning pair of galaxies known as 2ZW96. This region lies 500 million light years from Earth in the Delphinus constellation. When we talk about the evolution of galaxies, we're also talking about collisions. Galaxies often gravitationally attract one another until they merge and become one bigger galaxy, taking a new shape and giving rise to a new class of stars. When they merge, the gases interact with one another. The larger gas clouds are more likely to run into other large clouds, becoming denser and experiencing more pressure. This combination of gases can cause waves, and the gases can collapse on themselves, and this process causes new stars to form. Our home galaxy, the Milky Way, is currently heading toward our bigger neighboring galaxy, Andromeda. In about 5 billion years from now, the two will be tangled up, creating what could be called Milkdromeda. Their central black holes will also merge to create one bigger, supermassive black hole. As for the stars, they're so far apart, it is improbable that any of them will individually collide, and that's the case for most galactic mergers. However, the stars will likely find a new location within the new formed supergalaxy, and in some cases, the relationship between planets and their parent stars might no longer exist. In this web image, two galaxies are already tangled up and in the process of merging, hence the chaotic shape. You can also see the bright cores of the two galaxies connected by bright tendrils of star-forming regions. Each core is home to a supermassive black hole, but Webb is more tempted by the star-forming regions. It's the star births that make the galaxy pair shine bright in infrared wavelengths, perfect for a highly sensitive infrared telescope such as Webb. This system is a hundred billion times more luminous than the Sun. It's so luminous that it almost qualifies as an ultra-luminous system. However, according to the European Space Agency, the pair has not yet reached the late stage of coalescence that is the norm for most ultra-luminous systems. It was an international team of astronomers that proposed the study of complex galactic ecosystems, including 2ZW96, to put Webb through its paces soon after the telescope was commissioned. Astronomers have already observed the chosen targets using ground-based telescopes and the space-based Hubble telescope. This will help astronomers better understand Webb's ability to unravel the details of complex galactic environments. Here's the difference between Hubble's and Webb's observations of the same view. The image on the left is in the visible light spectrum and was taken by Hubble's advanced camera for surveys. The one on the right is in infrared and was taken by Webb's near cam, the near infrared camera, and MIRI, the mid infrared instrument. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.